talk some more shit and to speak some more facts first of all please hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers and there's nothing more than my broke ass wants but to get a thousand subscribers for Christmas <laughs> so I made this video because Cardi, Cardi B and Offset broke up yes bitch we already know yeah <gasps> such a shocker but here's what i really want to talk about so people were commenting under cardi b's picture like well you're in a marriage stay with your man through thick and thin blah, 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 blah. you're not supposed to give up the first time it gets rough cardi these are all the lonely beckys that have cats in their home or or all the barbaras who have a terrible marriage or the very religious women on Christian Mingos who are putting their two cents in a marriage that we didn't know about until a couple months ago. I do not get it. I don't get it. So that got me annoyed because it's just like, oh, so you're saying that because she's in a marriage, she's supposed to stay in a relationship that she's not happy in. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm tired of people staying in relationships for no goddamn reason. If you are not happy, you're not happy. I don't care if I got a baby with you. I don't care if I'm married to you. I don't care how much money you have. All right, maybe I do, but I don't care if, you, if I'm your fiance. I don't care how long we've been together. If you are not making me happy, if I am not happy, listen. We do not have time on this earth to be wasting on these people. I just wanna... <laughs> so instead of me being a depressed ass little bitch, because you know, personally, I'm going through problems. And, um, why not go through problems, actually? If I'm single, I'm happy as fuck. So you know what, I'm not gonna say I'm going through problems because I'm relieved as hell to... <laughs> I'm not going to say everything I wanna say because the other person don't even know how I'm feeling. If you're not happy, then you need to leave that person. It doesn't matter what any other person has to say about it. It don't matter about any factors. Because listen, Cardi B thought that this breakup was fake because just a week before Cardi B posted this video. So everybody been um bugging me and everything. And you know, I've been trying to work things out with my baby father for a hot minute now. And we're really good friends and you know we're really good business partners and you know he's always somebody that I run to to talk to and we got a lot of love for each other but things just haven't been working out between us for a long time and it's nobody's fault it's just like I guess we grew out of love but we're not together anymore I don't know, it might take time to get a divorce, and I'm going to always have a lot of love for him because he is my daughter's father, and yeah. She posted this video. Nah, because you, you, you really fine. Sexy nigga, baby father. Ow. You fucking me today. But you know... A lot of things could happen in a day, in a week, in an hour, in a minute. So many things could happen. Offset might have cheated again. I don't know what happened, but something could have happened that will make you think, okay, you know what? I'm not happy. I'm not going to do this. There's two reasons why you should leave a relationship if you're not happy. One is time. Two is control. For the first thing, time, you don't got a lot of it. You do not have a lot of time to be messing with these people who don't make you happy. For real. People be like, I've been with this guy for 10 years. Let me just spend another 10 shitty years hoping that he gets himself together and hoping that I can be happy. That makes no sense to me. You're wasting each time, each second you spend being with someone that does not make you happy. It's each second of your life that you're wasting on someone who doesn't deserve your time. You really need to stop letting these people... T <laughs> Hello? I'm not trying to be old school or nothing, but yo no, bitch. Yo low. You don't got no time. That's the bottom, nigga. Yo low. We have one life. I swear to God, 
if I were to die right now, I would not be happy with how I live my life. So let me ask y'all, if you were to die right now, would you be happy the way you live in your life? Which brings me to reason number two is control. There's a lot of things that we cannot control in our lives. For example, we go to work and you know that, well, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm unemployed as of now. But we know what it's like to go into work, to wake up early and go in and be miserable and we hate it. We don't want to work for nobody. We look at our schedule and we be like, like why is my name on the schedule? Why do I have hours? I'm confused. Like, yes, we hate work, but we need the money. We hate school, but we need a degree in order to get a job. So there's so many things that we can control, but not really. And we just gotta put up with it, you know what I'm saying? But, so my point is, when we got things in life that we can control, bitch, take advantage, full advantage of it. It does not make any sense to let other people ruin your life when you only have one life and you only have so many things you can control. So the people in your life are very important factors of making it less shitty. So people in your life, friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, they make it or break it. They give you the best memories, they give you the best emotions, they give you the biggest smiles, the happy tears, good and the bad of everything. And it's like, if you're over here sitting down crying every Friday, Saturday night because your man didn't text you or your man didn't show up for your date, like, you really, you really, like, I just sit there like, wow. Look at the ugly ass fuck. And I'm just like, I can control this. Like, I do not have to be sad right now. I do not have to be laying down in my bed crying because of another human being right now. I can control this. So, you know what? You know what I'm finna do? For real though, I'm literally like, why am I allowing this other human being to let me have snot running all over my face? And that is one less thing shitty in my life that I have to worry about. People stay in relationships that are crappy for a variety of reasons, whether it's because they already spent so much time and effort in that relationship and they don't want to do that again for somebody else. That makes no sense. If you have so much time and effort to spend on a shitty person who's not even worth it, Imagine what it would be like spending all that time and effort into someone who's gonna put in the same time and effort for you and for someone who's actually worth it. So why are you why are you wait why? Why you, why you waste the time, child? We ain't got no time to waste. People will stay in a crying relationship because they're married to that person. Cardi B, I commend Cardi B for leaving while she can because we already know Offset's a cheater and you know what, all we need to know is that Cardi is unhappy. So you know, if you want to leave, then leave. I don't care about the process, I don't care about the divorce, I don't care if I have a child with you. Which is reason number three that people will stay in a crappy relationship because they have a baby. I know too many people who stayed in a crappy relationship because they have a child with that person. First of all, wear a condom. Second of all, if you have sex, then have sex with someone that you that is worth your temple, okay? Ain't nobody getting all up in my temple and they're not worth it. Alright? If I'm having sex with you, it's because I love you and because I want to fuck you. And you know what? I wouldn't mind having a baby with you because that's a risk everyone's willing to take when they have sex. A baby is not going to make me stay with you. I know a baby needs two parents in their lives and they're going to get that. But I'm not going to sacrifice my happiness for my child when it comes to being with, literally laying with somebody in bed every night because you have a child. No. No. You can lay in the couch. You can be in the attic in the basement, but you're not gonna lay with me and you're not gonna be in a relationship with me. You know, we're gonna be two grown adults and we're gonna handle this. We're gonna handle our business, okay? People stay in messy relationships that do not make them happy because of love. Now, I could love a person, maybe hate them as well, but I could love a person and still not be happy with that person. Just like Cardi B said in her video. I have love for them, we have love for each other, we do love each other, but we're not we're not we're, we're not okay to be in a relationship. That's perfectly fine. Just because you say but I love him. But I love him. Okay, but are you happy? If you have just ask yourself these questions. Are you happy? 
Do you really love that person? Do they love you? How do they treat you? How many times you spend crying in a given week because of that person? You know what I'm saying? You could love that person, but it, they could still hurt you. Like, I love food, okay? I love to eat. But that food is hurting me in the weight scale. So you know what? I gotta break it off. It's just the same, it's the same thing with a living human being. You might love them, but they're hurting the fuck out of you. And you might not see it, but once you realize it, <laughs> listen, like I said, you you are you have little things to control in your life. But when you cut that person out, you feel so relieved to just be like, yo, I instead of worrying about this bub ass nigga, I'ma go out with my friends and enjoy my time. I'm gonna hang out with my family. Substitute the bad for something good. And you realize that hole you're missing is not from another nigga, not from another bitch, not a relationship, but it's really just you taking control of your life and bringing in the good. Push away the bad. I took control of me not going to work. You know, I'm a broke bitch and that's, that's hurting me, but I'm gonna do something I love and it's gonna feel good. I'm not happy with certain people that's in my life and I'm gonna cut them out and it's gonna feel good. I'm not gonna, first of all, I'm not gonna wait until 2019 to cut out people I don't like. People feel like they don't have no control, but really, you guys do. And I'm gonna need y'all to recognize that because we ain't going to 2019. First of all, if y'all in a relationship, I don't like, cut it off now. But since y'all wanna do this whole new year, new me shit, 2019, don't go into that year where nobody you ain't fucking with, where nobody who's not making you happy. Because I know damn well, if I died right now, I would not be happy with my life. And part of it is because of the people I let in my life. So you know what? Do something, do a favor for me, do a favor for you. And cut that bitch off, cut that nigga off, alright? You can get all the luxuries without having a relationship by just getting a sugar daddy. I guess I just want to make uh, this quick video because I just... Well, first of all, I'm going through it personally, and I just seen people bashing Cardi B for it, and I just don't think it's right. And I commend Cardi, and I commend women like Cardi who leave a relationship they're not happy in. Because, you know, if you're not happy, listen, listen, baby girl, who, what you gotta do for you? Take control of your life for the first time. It's gonna feel fucking great. But if you guys laugh, if you guys smile, if you guys cackle, if y'all were like, yes, bitch, at least once in this video, then please hit that subscribe button where all the world to 1,000 subscribers. Follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, at hr.chrissy, two S's and two Y's. I will see you guys in my next video. I love and appreciate all of you guys. Good luck on finals for all my college kids. And, yeah. Bye, guys. Oh, she the girl, she the girl, she the girl.